Hello everyone and welcome to Ratchet Deadlocked, the fourth PS2 game uh, in the Ratchet and Clank series and a uh, decidedly darker take compared to what we've seen before. As you can see, it's just this armor that's being uh, taken care of and it's hardcore, you don't even see Ratchet, there's no sign of Clank. It's going for a much harder edge than we're used to and... Uh, I don't have a lot of memories. I actually was going through and getting my PS2 set up. Um, realized that my uh, I didn't have a save file for this game on my first my uh, memory card in slot one. It's on my slot two one, and you have it pulls from the slot one. Um, and I last played this back in 2009, so it's been 11 years since I've actually played it. So we'll see how it all comes together. Um, yeah, let's just do it. As soon as... There we go. So, I think it's this one had a bit more focus on single player, uh, the on cooperative and multiplayer. But again, uh, for, this, for the sake of this series, we're going to be just focusing on the single player stuff. Because um, that's just where my uh, love came from. Uh, on... Hey, we can... Um... Okay, let's see if this actually works. Can we get progressive scanning? I don't think so, because we're just using basic cables. Game audio is a bit low. We'll get that uh, game up a little bit. Um, so it doesn't look like it supports it. Oh, well. But hey, we got a widescreen. Right. Let's go back. And let's see how uh, Ratchet Deadlocked is. And we'll adjust the game audio as we go along. Alright. Oh yeah, look at that. It only took me 8 hours and 14 minutes to beat it. Oh no, that's 8, 4... No, okay. Uh, I got to the New Game Plus and played for 30 minutes, but yeah. August 14th, 2009. I do remember playing it. Um, uh, there we go. That. All right. So I guess here's the question. Before I played this on Contestant, only level two. Um, so we can go couch potato. So you want to be on Dread Zone. Can you wield a blaster as well as your hand, you handle the remote? Don't worry. We'll give you plenty of ammo and health. And we'll tell those big mean Dread Zone exterminators to go easy on you. Have fun. Contestant, which is basically normal. Welcome to Dread Zone, Contestant. We'll make sure your weapons weapons are hitting hard and have plenty of ammo. But don't expect any favors. Our exterminators are play for keeps. Gladiator. You're one of Dread Zone's finest gladiators. You don't know the meaning of the word ca capitulation. Well, Dread Zone is going to make you wish you stayed in school. The warriors you'll be facing would turn an average contestant into Blargan Fungus Toast. You'll need a cunning strategy and lightning reflexes to survive. Hero. Bad guys shake at the sound of your name and kids wallpaper their rooms with your face. Welcome to the big time. You'll be up against the meanest, deadliest Dread Zone combatants you've got, we've got, and they're all, they all have Carbonox armor. You're not afraid, are you, Hero? And Exterminator. Dread Zone fans want to see Carnage, and we're going to give it to them by the truckload. You have no chance for survival, no hope of mercy, and no dental plan. This difficulty level is flat out impossible. Turn back now. We're serious. You don't need this kind of pain. So, yeah. Easy, normal, hard, very hard, or super hard. What's everybody want to see? Also, earlier, thank you, Nintendo fans, for the uh, follow. Do we go for Exterminator? I've never attempted Exterminator before. I'm seeing Exterminator. All right. New Age Nub says three or four stars. Three stars for that. Okay, we'll go... Exterminator gets you the most stuff. What I play on before, I played on normal. Uh, the first time I played through. Um, what do you mean by gets the most stuff, Ronin? Or stuff, Ronin? Like, what stuff do we miss out on? And I don't know. Exciting. So 
Skins and stuff. Okay, mostly skins. Hmm. I don't know. Hero or exterminator? Do we go nuts? Do we go nuts? Kajoho says hero. So split. Do we go? Okay. Hero, a challenge, but not pulling your hair. We'll go hero. Why not? In the shadow sector. Let me know how the volume is, by the way. Ouch. Gotcha. A dramatic conclusion to one of the most exciting episodes of Dread Zone I have ever seen. Captain Starshield, the number one ranked gladiator, has been terminated by Ace Hardlight. Ace has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> Touch higher. Hey, Starship Phoenix. Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Uh, greetings, mayor. I... No, 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 uh, still has a hot well, uh, long time no Sasha. See. Uh, no. Uh, uh, so Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> I, <clears throat> Greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my god. Yikes. No. Oh, what happened? Actually using killed. Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man. Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. He looks like a Tim Curry character. It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. Oh, you the Lombax known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? Uh-oh. That ain't good. Yeah, I started to, it's time to start a new game now since we had a little bit of extra time. Not going to get very far, but we're playing on hero difficulty and this should be interesting. Yeah. We've captured subject 209, Mr. Vox. Excellent. Bring him in. Yes, sir. We caught two strays in the process. Should we terminate them? Give him collars, and see if he can get some work out of them first. Not good. I'm playing on the fourth highest difficulties. It says Hello? one through five stars, I'm playing on four stars. There. Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops, it uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my. <laughs> there seems to be a problem with the speech. Sounds like Jack waking up and talking like Jack, too. Now hold still. 
Let's just see if I wired that teleportation circuitry right. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification yep, course that's ratchet. in time, we will all be terminated. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Turn to face the hollow target on the right, then fire. Good. Now shoot the hollow target above you. All right, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. All Try right. getting to the top of that ledge. By the way, I am naturally strafing. I don't have to pull, hold down a button. I am transmitting a digital minimap representation of the area. Can you see it? The minimap will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Oh, hello. Up we go. Don't have the clean visuals that we had before, but that's all right. Ratchet, there should be a teleporter nearby that will take you to the next stage of the qualification course. Oh, he's Clank as two player. Cool. There's Ratchet's face. Hero, and welcome to Dread Zone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. There will be no rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. <laughs> Charming. Ratchet, I have figured out a way to get information to you without Vox knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. Looks so different. At the top of your screen is the experience bar. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. Hold R2 or triangle, and use the left analog stick to select any weapon. Sheesh, that did a lot of damage. Note the deadlock collar securely fastened around your neck. And now we got the title drop. cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, a buzzing noise will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Should a contestant become uncooperative or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Oof. Well, there you have it. Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> right? So some people are hearing buzzing, others are not. Between recently used weapons. Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. Check your map. There should be a teleporter nearby. Use the teleporter to meet me back at our Dread Zone containment area. I feel so slow. Let's get out of here. Alright, no buzzing for some people, so I guess we'll just hold off for now. Should hopefully be good. Yeah. This is crazy. 
I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Why is Ratchet into this? <laughs> Welcome, hero, to your new living quarters. Your luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need as a contestant on Dread Zone. Please make yourself comfortable. You'll most. Whoops. All right. We can max out our ammo for just 14 bolts. We can also get a new weapon, the Obliterator. Weapon of the Year by the Galactic Association of Ridiculously Unnecessary Firepower. Hmm. Nice. And got acid mods. Slightly be spending the rest of your life here. Ratchet, you should go find Al. I have marked his location on your map. I think he has something to show you. There we are. Weapon max level cap is 99. Oh god. <laughs> Courtney Gears. Hey, Ratchet. I have something to show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's Green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who, um, won't be needing them anymore. We do have backup. Boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. All right, so we can get them paint jobs. We can get them new weapons. Different heads. All kinds of choices. That shit looks so weird. He just looks like he's su such a stiff runner in this. Me? Yeah, before I came here, I saw a little action. Hey, nice digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Uh, hem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next up in the battle dome after. Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it! Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. Seems like the uh, vo uh, voices are a little off on this one. Not sure why. Right. Attention, hero. Report to the Battle Dome Transport Shuttle immediately. Failure to comply will result in termination. Welcome to the Quasar 0115 Gladiator Ranking Station. Hmm. Gotta get all the way up to uh, Ace Hardlight, 278,000 dread points. There's a lot of uh, deceased people, though. Not so good. Alright, let's say we check out the Battle Dome. This should be interesting. Greetings, hero or heroine. We thank you for choosing Vox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment, courtesy of the Vox Network. Something you should know. Tyrannoids. <laughs> Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from overuse? <laughs> then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow it up! <laughs> That's right! It's time for Dread Zone! The you can see him pushing things a bit more. Unethical and 
completely underground combat sport, blasting straight at you live from the Battle Dome. And now, on pay-per-view, watch as Ratchet and Clank take on Ace Hardlight and the Exterminators. They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Vox. is the Eviscerator's fourth victim already this season. Next up, we have, uh, let me see here, Ratchet? Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably <laughs> just intermission material, folks, but don't worry, we have Grey Thunder and Hydro Girl coming up later, so stay tuned to Dread Zone. Well, here he is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't bother getting up for drinks, folks. This guy won't last two rounds. We'll see. <laughs> By the way, Vox, Fox, yeah, they knew what they were doing. The Red Zone fans, this is it. Let's introduce our first contestant. He's a Lombax. He spent time in prison. He hates candy and children. Let's hear it for Ratchet and Team Darkstar. Just, whoops, okay, L2 goes first person, got it. that bot correctly go ahead and press the down directional button to initiate the auto repair sequence you can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue all right hey well ma whoop master you can press the down directional button at any time to make your bots regroup to your position hey look a little bit of platforming It's like we're getting close range. Oops. Okay, that was a bad jump. There we are. It's definitely an adjustment to go directly from up your arsenal to this, where it's just the controls are so much different. From what I'm used to. Yeah, we're getting a lot of skill points. Sorry, Ratchet uh, Clank, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was getting my uh, weapon switched up. Definitely gonna have to stay on my toes with these. Uh, this at this uh, difficulty level. Yeah, it's a very weird jump. Like I said, this one's all about the action. Very little uh, platforming other than these. Ratchet, my scanners show an extremely deadly 70 millimeter stalker turret ahead of you. You need to get behind cover immediately. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. Yeah, 
There we go. Excellent work, Ratchet. We now did it. You have survived the qualification course. You will be allowed to join us back at our containment area. Three of 15 skill points. Wow. Hey, Catacomb 4 unlocked. It's a lot more story this time around. Oh, well, far be it for me to keep the superstar exterminator from his busy social schedule. I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Light video game? How about an Ace Hard Light lunchbox? Action figures, movie rights, collectible trading cards? Ace Hard Light is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the Gleeman Vox Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hard Light! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! Oh, God. So, what are you saying, exactly? Zip it, Wonder Boy! The little Billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag, and I'm completely cut out of the market! Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will! Now get out of my sight! Ah, uh, Vox. Oh, you can change the controls of the original style in the options menu? Maybe. Ratchet, you need to choose where you are going to compete next. This is the interplanetary transport. It will take you to Dread Zone battle courses on other planets. It travels on a planned course. Any tampering with the nav computer causes the ship to explode. Right, well, we don't have enough for... This is the weapon screen. Here, you can select any weapon you own and modify it. To modify a weapon, select the weapon you want and press X. You will see at the top of the screen the weapons which are available, with the statistics of the weapon just below. Each weapon can equip a powerful Omega modification. These black market upgrades can inflict massive amounts of damage. To add, modify, or change an Omega oh my mod, God. scroll down. Clank is talkative this time around. Also, X. Loyal Dingo, thank you very much for the Omega thousand bits. Uh, he's just saying, nacho fries are back at Taco Bell, everyone. Well, <laughs> cool. I, I don't think I've ever had nacho fries at uh, that. I, I, uh, yeah, that. Select any Omega mod which is available for that weapon, and then press X to equip it. Okay, got that. So we got these. Oh, so if we're doing these skill points, we get extra bolts. Got a various path. Got the dread zone station. So we can see all of this quite a bit here. Got a new equipment. And yeah, so if you go third person, you actually do uh, the other one, the, the way it would spin for the other games. But we're going to keep it lock strafe, I think. Also, Mito Green for the, with 100 bits says, make it easier for someone to snipe. Who is ready to be death? Extras, got all this. Get cheats for uh, that. We get. Oh, here we go. The Marauder and Alpha Clank. So that's what player two would look like. So there we go. Staving up for our new weapon, though. So let's go to the planetary transport and uh, see how it goes. So yeah, catacomb. Oh, cool! You can see uh, 
they all go. So this Dread Zone battle course will challenge you to fight your way to the Catacomb Burial burial Dome and across the hollow uh, ground rumored to be the haunted by robot undead. Go figure. Let's do it. Yeah, as you can see, it's a very different feel to the other Ratchet and Clanks, which is why I didn't re it took me a long time to actually play this game. It's just very different. It's a beautiful spring day on I think the humor is still on point though. As we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <sighs> oh, yeah. The Miss awkward team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly dread zone battle core. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh my, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish because the next one looks like a bleeder. <laughs> Ratchet's first objective. Decent music. All right, let's max out our ammo. Oh gosh, we got a hollow shield launcher as well. Hey, we remember this one from last time. We got mods. It is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. So as you can see, it's not always uh It's not always in the hallways and stuff like that, but it does come but we are, you know, the shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to oh take gosh. them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. If Ratchet was a tough cookie, what kind of cookie would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. Good thing. This thing down. Almost got our next level, though. Defeat oh, thank gosh. Automatically upgrades your Dread Zone weaponry and improves your maximum nanotech level. Around me. Okay. Sir, yes, sir. I guess they got other uses for those EMPs. Oh, there was the challenge. Well, there we go. <laughs> So the mail announced the same voice voices um Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents. Also, as you can see, uh Kai decided to stop by. As Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. Let's get ourselves some ammo. <laughs> Uh, Hero Chaos Child, thank you very much for the uh, subscription. Uh, it says, oh snap, it's Deadlock. Yes, and also you are a new uh, death. <laughs> and apparently, I didn't realize you were such a big fan of uh, Deadlock. Oh gosh. We're playing on hero mode, so this ought to be pretty interesting. <laughs> Oh, 
we've gotten into our zombie robots. In the pale moonlight. I have, and it's fantastic. Here's a chilling thought. Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground. Why work up a sweat turning cranks when you can order your box to do it for you? That would have been nice to know before I started turning. Oh, God. And I'm dead. <laughs> Let's try it again. Now that we know we can command them to do it. At least this should level up the uh, magma cannon pretty quick. Oh god, hello. You can take two hits in these things without if we didn't get an upgrade. You know, I gotta get me one of those battle suits, Juanita. Get over there and turn that crank. That's, oh, actually, oh, cool, it's still turned. That one. Ratchet, if you want to extend the bridge, use the node crank. And they just don't stop coming. Oh, we got too close. Whoops. Yeah, that health is not going to do me much. Oh, that's our, that's my own. Whoops. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have to do it. Ratchet, you can expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area. Just a little bit more. Up oh, there we are. Okay, I gotta go th around. Am I liking Dallas and Juanita's commentary? Oh, they get better and better as time goes on. As of right now, they're just okay. <laughs> Lots of dudes here. Yeah, we looked at my old save file. I haven't played this since um, 2009 when I last beat it. And I've, oh, not played it at this difficulty. Ooh, <laughs> hero is definitely a bit more uh, rough. Let me Let's get Let ammo. Me Fortunately, it's it works off the logic. Even though we're dying, we're still making progress as far as levels up, level ups, and things we're doing. So it's not impossible. It looks like. Hey, man, we came in level two. 60 to 80 power. Uh, designed his weapons to gain experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. Down for that. Let's just keep up the pressure. Oh, hello. I didn't realize that was a zombie. I thought it was one of my own guys. Ratchet, according to Dread Zone show requirements, enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. Oh, turret. Oh, God. 
The Walking Mech coming up next on AMC. Oh man, we are uh, dying left and right here. Oops, that's how I wanted. Good thing death doesn't matter. Working on these. This guy needs a catchy little kind of shtick, you know, a nickname. Ratchet, the radical rockin' rodent guy. What do you think? Needs work. Oh, Looks like Team Dark Star is gonna be Team <laughs> Dead Star pretty soon. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hero Chaos Child, thank you very much for the hundred bits. I will read that message as soon as I'm not getting shot at, which is not often in this game. <laughs> I will use the revive command to bring him back to life. Finally, where's the down bot at? There he is. Got our bridge up. So, Hero Chaos Shao says, So, fun fact, this game and another game actually had a, some PSP, PS2 save connectivity with each other. Do you know which game it was with? Uh, I believe uh, I saw a chat earlier saying it was like Jack X and Jack... Um, uh, Jack X and uh, maybe Jack and Daxter 3? Or Jack 3, I guess. Oh, gosh. By the way, New Age Nub, the difficulty won't affect my enjoyment of the game. I'm very well aware of me picking this, you know, is just sort of the state of things. There's some legs. Excuse me, sir. Okay, walked right up and shot me and it punched me. All right, we're gonna go over here real quick. I don't think we can actually get to our... Shoot, I thought we could go back up and get to that thing. Guess not. All right, let's move forward. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize that was a puddle. Tomorrow is kick your best friend in the pants day. Free popcorn for everyone who participates. That's alright. I went into my new weapon anyway. Right, max mouse, max out our animo, and now we have the B6 obliterator. This is all over. I'd like to do it again. Weird, L1, L1 to jump. Well, the nice thing is that dual, the dual vipers are leveling up as we go along. Gosh. Room in that suit. Not one now. Whew. Oh 
overwhelming amount of enemies. I just want my dual vipers at V2 and then I'll be I'll be happy. <laughs> so let's just get over here and kill. <laughs> the problem is the zombies sneak up behind me. He's still alive. These things have no damage output to him. Why oh, we need to level him up? Let's get some health over here. Got these running zombies. Whoops. Some gross sounds. Excuse me, sir. have to level up for this thing. Team Dark Star simply won't give up. Ratchet, I am detecting a swing shot orb ahead. Jump towards it and hold down the fire button. Your swing shot will deploy automatically and carry you across the gap. Still gotta have that swing shot. Cameron is all we got. Hey, nanotech increased. Sweet. What do you know? We made it. Ratchet has found the Landstalker. What's wrong with the game? It's uh, hold on. What's wrong with the frame rate? Is something going on with the frame rate? I'm not seeing any drop frames, so. I'm not sure what's causing it. This all-terrain mech of destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo-sized drink Could holders, be the and PS2? enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, hmm. folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center so of the Catacom Burial Dome. Jump, sidestep, fire guns, fire mortars. Huh. I'll try to keep an eye on it this time. I don't know what's going on. Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. All right. This is definitely a different kind of vehicle. Dare he. Star is breaking this place apart. Yeah. How's the frame right now? Ratchet is on a rampage with the Land Stalker. Oh, I can't imagine the damage Bill Dread Zone is going to get for this. Okay, 
there's a little sidestep here we need to do. Okay, not too shabby. That was easy. Yeah, I'm bad at telling the difference between 30 and 60. Hmm. Yep, now I gotta defeat the zombies. This carnage, folks, but it's time for the final show. So many missions. Catacrom Burial Dome. There's no telling what lurks inside these walls. Ratchet, you must defeat all your opponents in order to complete this challenge. In other words, stay alive. I'm not doing a very good job of that, uh, right off of that. <laughs> oh, so much for staying alive, Clank. Sorry. They're coming up from the ground. Man, getting out of their way is rough. There we go. Yeah, no wonder. It's only doing... Here is some good news. Each time your weapon upgrades, it unlocks a new alpha modification slot for you to use. Let's get that buyer obliterator in. Put in some work. Run, ratchet, run. The B6 obliterator. Obliterator, I guess I should say. That's more like it. You guys know me, I like to evenly level my weapons. Whoops. Enjoy. Huh, didn't actually kill you. In this case, I'm basically just shooting until I'm out of ammo. mean oh no 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 <laughs> we're dead they're coming up from the ground hey, boys, do you reach Not mean to use that. I want to use this against these uh, sand sharks. They say war is hell, Juanita, but where does that leave Dread Zone, huh? Your bots accumulate attack power each time they take a hit. Okay, that's good. Sorry, I was trying to switch weapons. Gonna save it for desperate times. There we go. Hopefully the frame rate's still holding on. All oh, right. Holy crap. Ridiculous. Still gonna buy obliterator stuff. Oh well. Excellent work, Ratchet. Boom. I must admit, I was. Oh, uh, egg roll with 100 bits. Thank you so much for 100 bits. You can win. You feel great. You can do this. <laughs> I do. Not too shabby. Got 
Got the green medal and the hacker rag. Well done, Ratchet. You have completed your first Dread Zone campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. All right. Well, I guess we'll do those challenges. Uh, we got Hoverbite Madness. Race through the ancient battlefield and hold on for your life. Collect all the checkpoints to extend time, the time and win. Let's do it. We'll just go through and see what we can do. Ratchet will race to beat the clock. Each checkpoint he passes will earn him a few extra seconds. Team Darkstar, get ready to race. Gotcha. This is really awkward to control. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. Interesting fact, folks. Dread Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. It's been a heck of a burrito. Oh, gosh. Whew, just in time. Destruction Derby. Derby. Hop in the Land Stalker and destroy as many Dread Zone enemies and structures as you can before time runs out. I think we can do that. It's time to hop into the Land Stalker. Take out as many enemies as you can. Oh, I thought you were dead. Nice, nanotech still increases in, the, in this uh, thing. Remember, don't try any of this at home. Go to a friend's house. Yeah, friends don't mind. few more to take out. Honestly, the Landstalk is a lot of fun. We failed? How did we fail? Oh, there's a time limit. I didn't notice the time limit. Whoops. That's my fault. Always got to be moving forward from now on. Sauce. Probably best not to know. There we go. 
Whew. Gotta get those dread points. Alright, Monuments of Death. Your mission is to destroy the ancient statues scattered across the battlefield. Each one is protected by robot corpses, so watch out. Of course. This is a dread zone. Alright, so we can get the Hollow Shield launcher. We can get some... Mo Actually, we can just get all of it. Yeah, let's do it. Only be equipped onto a single weapon at a time. You will need to add and remove the mods in order to put them onto different weapons. Select a weapon, scroll down to the alpha upgrade, and press X to enter the alpha modification right. menu. Multiple alpha mods of the same type can be equipped on the same weapon. A pool of available upgrades for each weapon will appear above the bottom row of upgrades. You can unequip an alpha mod at any time and place it back into the alpha mod pool. Our contestant Oops. will have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. You got a lot. Uh, hold on. I gotta change things up. Ah, here we go. Hmm. I don't know. Not sure what we're doing wrong, but that's all right. That Omega mod will now always work with that weapon until you change it or take it off. Use it wisely. Once you have purchased a new Omega mod, it can be equipped if your weapon supports it. Take some time to configure your weapon mods. Proper use of your mods will greatly improve the firepower of your weapons. It's weird going back and forth between these. Okay, I see now. Oh, not. Nah. I don't know. I don't quite get it. All right. I think I got it configured. All right, let's go this way and see what we can do. That's cool. Ratchet, command your bots to place their explosives on each tower. When all the explosives are placed, they will detonate. You know, sometimes I think I should have taken that job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great dental plan. <laughs> Not sure if you should announce that. Okay, don't re recommend bothering with uh, the alpha mods. Okay, I really couldn't even tell the difference, to be honest. Let's get some ammo. a different game compared to what we've played up to this point. Yeah, it's more action-based, but oh my god. Well, that was worth doing. <laughs> there we go. And that 
discriminating with extreme prejudice. It's a good thing we're out of range, Juanita. We are out of range, are we? Let's... That announcer makes this, uh, makes this game, though. Uh, Mr. Rotendo, thank you very much for the subscription. Says, Derek, it's been a while. I hope you and Belle had a great Christmas and everything as well. We did. I, I think we had a really fun Christmas. And uh, I just got to hang out with family, and that was just really nice. We'll do all... Actually, I don't even know if the Hollow Shield Launcher is really that useful in this case, so... Thankfully, I don't catch on fire going through the magma. I will say the mods are a lot more useful than they were in uh, going commando. Go first person. God, this the obliterator is just so satisfying with these. Uh, The uh, video with Grandma. Yeah, that was. I'm glad we at least got to do that. Didn't quite have the time to do the, uh, you know, normal amount that we do, but hey, at least we got to do something. Challenges can be completed in any order once they are unlocked. Your status on Dread Zone now allows you to access Planet Serathos. We should probably go back to Dread Zone Station and do the two, tra uh, two Dread Challenges there. So, what's everybody thinking that since we only have about 10 minutes before we can, uh... I attack nope. you with a spider kick. Power level 5. I defend with level 6 lawn ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker! You fell right into my trap. <laughs> You're exterminated! No, 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 no. <laughs> wow. Killed a kid. <laughs> 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 That's right, kids. Exterminator trading cards are here. There's Reactor, Shell Shock, the Eviscerator, and your favorite exterminator, Ace Hardlight. Collect them all and exterminate your friends today. Different kind of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Like I said, the humor is still on point in this game. It's just the uh, actual gameplay is so different. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was I was wanted to ask since we only have a few minutes before we uh, end this off. Uh, what's everybody's thoughts on uh, Ratchet Dreadlock so far? Actually, I think we can upgrade our bots. Let's go do that. Hero Chaos Child loves this game. It's not my favorite Ratchet. I don't know if it's in my top five, but there is something fun about it. Shield Link. Oh, man. 15,000 can do that. That's just a paint job. Well, if we don't get any... Uh, that many bolts, uh, no, no other weapons pop up. We'll just get that next time. Tell it's different from the references are data, but those of us who grew up with the uh, that time recognize them. Um, different from the others, but still looks fun. Yeah, cutscenes are hilarious, but the gameplay is all right. 
Yeah, one I uh, I oh yeah, asking um, Hero Chaos Chow. Yeah, I've not played the PS3 version, but not heard good things. All right. Ooh, two a.m. slot uh, slot time slot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. It's time to kill or be killed in the Annihilator round. Ratchet must survive under relentless attack from Ooh, wave that's a lot wider. wave of lethal enemies. That show is a lot nicer than the old one. At least this one feels like it actually covers <laughs> or shields. shield ammo. Lovely. Hmm. Magma cannon is it? Magma cannon it is. Final round. Not too shabby. Barnabas Barbarossa says, I don't like that the, the uh, Ratchet's face is covered up, uh, though. Every time I unlock the cheat to remove his helmet, I use it and never go back. I enjoy the game, but that's why I won't do well enough. It owns up to being more action-focused entry in the series. It probably has one of the better stories in the franchise. True. All right. Big sleep. Let's do it. Obviously, we're not going to be worrying about all the uh, it's time to get skill points. excited, Juanita. I'm talking about the gas round, where Ratchet must defeat all the enemies before the toxic fumes snuff him out. That's less than I do. Oh, baby, I love that smell. We're still giving you health. <laughs> Juanita is not a fan of us. Oh, he's looking a little unsteady. Some gladiators just can't handle their gas. Oh, we got lasers. That's a lot of chaos going on right now. Whew. That was something. <laughs> this is my weapon grinding spot. Makes sense.
With the max level being 99, level 99, of course, we're not going to be doing that too much. We're just going to be, this is going to be a more, much more focused playthrough um, as we get through everything. How are we doing in the ranks? Are you done yet? 10,000. We need to get to 64,000 even approach Kid Nova. Yeesh. How's Clank doing? He's just hanging out. Alright, let's go get ourselves a new thing for the bots, and I think that'll be a good spot to call it for now. And, uh... Yeah, this has been Ratchet Deadlocked. Definitely a different en entry. There we go, shield link. Dream is to have a big Attention, contestants. Make sure to spend your Dread Zone credits on our fine lineup of reasonably priced Dread Zone weapons. After all, where else are you going to spend them? That's a good point. All right. <laughs> hey, he's having a good time. All right, well... Let's go into this, and we've already made it through... One pat planet, so we're making our way. Ah, here we go. This is how many dread points we need. We need... Okay, so that's how you unlock more. You get certain dread points and certain badges. So, yeah. Lots to do. But not a super long game. So, yeah. Who knows how long this will take. Let me just find this save option. Oh, Smash Mac gifted a sub to Kajoho. Thank you so much. There we are. So yeah, I guess we'll be back next Tuesday for more Ratchet Dead Ratchet Deadlocked. Uh, Saturday be, will be Persona Three and more Hades on Sunday. So. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you uh, soon, I guess. Actually, let's see if we can, who we have to raid. Let me see here. Sorry, off the thing. So we have uh, Roger's Base playing Temtem, or Uncle Silver playing Star Wars Jedi, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Which would you prefer to watch? Oh yeah, final stream of 2020. Crazy. Yeah, see you next year. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and send some love to uh, Greg, as always. And our hashtag will be... Uh, just uh, hmm, what's a good one for this one? I don't know. Vox channel. There you go. <laughs> Vox channel. I like an egg roll. Thank you so much. So yeah, let's just do Vox channel, and we will uh, pick up there. Sorry, I'm a little off, but um, also just a real quick, be streaming on uh. YouTube tonight on Good Vibes. Uh, we'll be playing Smash Brothers Ultimate with our executive producer patrons and above. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you all can uh, join us. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me for this one. So you guys take care and uh, see you in the new year. Bye.